album with uh, Chick Corea and Herbie Hancock. I mean... I, well, I wrote all that I know you did. I know you did. And you've... Chick didn't play on that. Herbie did. Even though it was on the album, huh? Yes, I know who's on the album. Herbie Chick Hancock. Chick Tony Williams. Ron Carter. Uh, John McLaughlin you played with. Pardon me? What um, could I ask you about? Uh, I know that uh, you wanted to, uh, you wanted Jimi Hendrix to play uh, with you because you liked it. They wanted me to get him a new band. That's where that went. Uh huh. And they were paying me to get him, find him a new band. Uh huh. Did you like his style of music or his style of playing? Of course. Did you at one point in time want to play with him or? Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, Miles, I, I, you know, from talking to you, this might be a hard question for me and for you as well, but if you could give me some insight on it. That's my freak, yes. <laughs> okay. What direction do you think jazz is headed in, or music itself? I mean, is it headed in the type of, or the, the style of music that you would have wanted it to, to be in? Or people I know, you know, that I like to hear play like Herbie and mm -hmm. Korea and, and Wayne Shaw and all. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony Wales. Mm -hmm. That's about that's about the all that's about all the people I know that, that have advanced musically. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you feel as though that They've advanced um, because of your influence. Of course. Do you think at some point? I talk to Chick every night. Are there any other musicians that uh, you think will, you know, follow, say, in your direction, or in the direction of Chick and Herbie and Tony and Wayne Shorter? No, I don't have that much knowledge. You know, you don't have any problem. And Bill Evans, where he died, you know, but the rest of them had that much knowledge, you know. Mm -hmm. And they have no knowledge of the skills and different things, musical terms. Mm -hmm. I, like, uh, I'm going to say it again. Is there anything that you want to, to mention that... Uh, as far as maybe your background or what you're doing now or anything like that? Yeah. Why don't you learn something about me before you call me? What, you know, what, what do you want me to, to know about you? When you tell me something about some music, you know, you should do some research. I mean, I, I made an album called Sketch of Spain and all that shit, you know, and I, I did a lot of research on it. About four months of research. Mm -hmm. I, I respect that. Um, I've listened to your music, like I said. I mean, if I call you, I do some research on you. What? So I know what I was talking about. Okay, well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this, you know, as a whole was well, like. I Louis Blake, you know, Lester Boyer. Oh, I did an interview with Lester, and he talked about you uh, two weeks ago. He was just here with the art ensemble. Yeah, they play pretty good. Yes. Well, I, I want to get across again that I'm more interested in, in what you say and and what you say about music uh, more than, than anything else because I feel, I myself personally feel that you were an innovator in, in music and um, I hope you take that as a compliment because um, I, I am deeply grateful to you for having the chance to talk to you and get some 
insight. Um, Man, it's a lot of it's a lot of guys playing out out there tonight today. Uh, those guys right wrote that died or something. Sheik. No, they wrote um. Got me as a governor. Um. What's the name of the Diana Ross song? I don't know. Okay, well... Uh, I'm I, not aware. Oh, well, I know that the... Are you talking about the latest Diana Ross album? Yeah. Okay, I know that uh, Sheik produced the album, but I don't know about the... And Michael Jackson's latest album. Uh-huh. Which I think is a mother. Yes, it is. It is <laughs> a very good album. You have to listen to both across the thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Because those jazz musicians aren't doing s***, <laughs> man. just playing what they heard. Mm-hmm. Um, they play the same thing over and over again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the same cliche, partner. And you're, you, you're getting sick of hearing it? Is I don't listen to it. Don't listen to it? Is What do you focus mainly, or what mainly do you focus your listening to? What what uh, everything but that everything but that classical does that include included with that yeah okay rock Stuck stock stock mm hmm had uh uh huh had any type of classical music that uh, you've picked up on has that in uh, influenced your style of of uh, writing or Mm -hmm. More so than, uh, more so than the jazz. I just told you. Okay. Do you think at any uh, time in your career that uh, that that you have left, will you perform again? Maybe they offer me so much money now I can't refuse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, that that's fine. I started with Roy and went through all the trouble, but you know, Carl Terry helped me a lot. Mm hmm. A lot of musicians in Trump and St. Louis helped me hit around. Mm hmm, right. Um, Robinson, a lot of guys leave on. A lot of guys, you know, I can't even think of all of them. Yeah, there, there have been a lot. Is it see Trump? Uh, yes, it is. How you know? Um, David Hines is a good example. Uh, it's also uh, a big sax town, I think. A lot of sax players. That uh, Freddie Washington, namely, O'Hara Spearman, uh, have really been accepted here. I know a good friend of yours that I know personally, uh -huh. uh, Jeter Thompson. Uh, but uh, he's a Fantastic piano player uh, of Kilimanjaro. Uh, he did that album. Uh, well, Jeter Thompson wrote the. I guess the. I think he wrote the song to that. Um, oh, what? Kilimanjaro. That I made. Uh, I believe so. He did it with. Oh, I wrote it. Well, I know you wrote it, but I mean, he had put it on an album with the uh, quartet Trebian. I uh, don't know if you're familiar with them. I hope jazz is, you know, starting to grow by leaps and bounds in St. Louis. forget about the word jazz. Okay, well, music. What would you rather me say? Would you rather me say music or... 